Question. Has project management helped you career-wise in like the job sector? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I even wait for you to complete? Because I adjust my, my, my dress. <laughs> Why should I wait for you to complete an obvious... <laughs> Welcome back to Manapatao <laughs> Chronicles. How you guys doing? We've been great. We've been fantastic. We had these conversations normalized between the two of us. Yeah. We always have these kinds of conversations. Sometimes they... Um, Uncomfortable. And they naturally. end up uh, with one person feeling... Uh, that it's important. Umesema ukweli na wewe huwelewi kile mimi. Nina maanisha na hauni party na nina feel vibaya sana kwa sababu haunielewi e, kuna vitu unasema ambazo ni trigger words na zinaniumiza you know such like things well, don't have me thrown. <laughs> no see that, that can be me it can be you see like see me need user to the same uh, for me my previous relationship is always a trigger for some reason you know depends on what what is happening where we are at but you know that's not why we are here i need to know that's the last oh yeah, I, i'm not going to say that's the last time i'm going to talk about my previous relationship because well i've never really talked about my previous relationship yeah we just mention it yeah in and, reference I'm not, and i'm not going to, to something yeah, yeah in reference to yeah. some things yeah. it wouldn't even be fair to yeah. your previous partner yes. because she's not here to say her side of the story this is true in a relationship yeah. of yes. the story. So, yeah so because you're here because of uh, my side of the story you'll stay here we'll talk about the other side of the story goja kama kutakuwa na story because I, I i never really give the story because there's, there's no, no there's need. no need to there's no need to there's no need. this is somebody i still uh, value and respect and as a feminist me in terms of this is somebody i still value and respect mm. and uh, allow them to have their life and just be where they are mm. yeah and uh, for me i just take my lessons mm. my pain points my thriving moments and then move with them grow yeah. with them yeah mm. all right so today hey hey maswali za leo ni mzito Really? Yeah. I let me just uh, ask for forgiveness uh, from the beginning because uh, today they are going to be heavy ones. They are going to be heavy ones. Okay. But we want to start with you today. Ah, oh, okay. Because it's a question specifically for you. Okay. Question, has project management helped you career-wise in like the job sector? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I even wait for you to complete because I adjust my, my my dress? Why should I wait for you to complete an obvious new? <laughs> of course not. Mm. Of course not. It hasn't helped me. I studied it. I spent money, I spent time. I remember I had I had a new baby. Huh? <laughs> really? What? I had a, I had just had a new baby. Siko uh-huh. analala. And I would still wake up for my classes and sometimes I would just be dozing off. Mm. But I did it and I passed. I did well. My first job was in project management. I was a project control manager, aka project manager's assistant in some ways. Mm. Because a true project control manager would have had more tasks and responsibilities and more things within their reach than what I had in mm. my previous workplace. But in my previous workplace, I the title was there, but the task and the JD was mostly an assistant's job. Mm. Granted that I was fresh from campus, so yeah, I under, it was under, understandably so why they didn't give me so many tasks mm. and so much power over the project. Mm. But yeah, that's how I was introduced into project management. I was intrigued and interested as I would see the project managers, the people I would look up to, how they would work, mm. what they would do. And I was interested. I was like, okay, this is something that I can pursue. I think I can do this. To How do I get there? Get the credentials, the important credentials that are needed. Mm. How do I get there? Pay for prints to do it, study, pass. But what I hadn't factored was the practicability of getting there you don't just get a prince 2 certification and automatically somebody will hire you as a project manager especially in the huge corporation or company that i was working at a simple not a simple because it wasn't simple a certification does not 
put a stamp on you as a project manager. Two levels of certification. <laughs> because, mm -hmm. because that's a huge company, an international company that is mm. handling millions of dollars. Mm. Billions, so, actually. Sometimes hundreds billions. of millions of USD B billions. kind billions. of projects. Yeah. And then because you have gotten a certification that they are now going to sign off and give you uh, this project to handle. Mm. No, of course not. So I hadn't factor, I hadn't planned out or laid out steps in how to get there. I hadn't put a practice, you know how they say a stage by stage plan mm. that break down your tasks. Mm. <laughs> Break down your tasks mm. into bits because that's how you're going to achieve what mm. you need to achieve. Mm. I hadn't done that. I just automatically, it clicked in my mind, I'm going to get a certification and I'm going to get into project management immediately. Now, on the other hand, that was my, my part. On the other hand, the environment wasn't fostering my growth, like at all. I kept mm. pushing for growth and instead it felt like I was being pushed backwards yeah. more into the back burner more into the shadows and i was like no by the point you at, at the point you actually left you were being uh, given the option of uh, staying and working in, uh, in a, customer service yeah so to speak and i was like no this wasn't the plan Your, <laughs> this wasn't the plan yeah. the plan was to get a certification mm -hmm. and, and put my feet into the pool of project management by shadowing a project manager like actually doing project management work mm. so that i would understand and know the nitty gritties and aspects of project management in a huge international company mm. set up an environment but then i kept being pushed into the back burner mm. and i didn't understand why I, I also think even timing wasn't perfect because by then the company was I don't say downside. Yeah, there was sort of the downsizing. Mm. They were letting go of people. Mm. We were getting less projects from our our customers, so, so to speak. Mm. So I, just timing. I just think that I, I probably wasn't meant to be a project manager there mm. at that time. Mm. Maybe in future, but not then. But you did gain and gather some uh, skills that you would still say that where is the Shindoku apply? If yeah, I would. Came, yeah. I would say so, but I would struggle. Mm. I would struggle because being a project manager is a lot. In fact, recently I have worked in the capacity of so called uh, almost the same. Because in I, a that's smaller company, actually, that's where I want to go to. Because mm. um, I understand uh, you have an NDA, so there are things about that particular job that, that, that you can't yeah, say. Yeah, yes. But you can talk about your experience mm. when you were doing that job. It was a crash cause like you're thrown into the deep end because one, it is a small company that is just starting, not starting, I found them just a little bit into the project. Mm. So you're thrown into the deep end, you need to catch up with what has happened, mm. figure out what is happening now and oversee what is to happen tomorrow <laughs> within a short time frame, mm. literally a month. Mm. And achieve, it was, uh, it was crazy, it mm. was crazy but i took my lessons i really learned a lot that was an eye opener so this is what happens huh so this is and now the problem with <laughs> such a situation you learn through mistakes yeah there's no other way mm. so you're constantly making mistakes you're constantly not knowing what to do when and, and you it's look, new mistakes it's not the same mistake exactly and especially when like, you, oh when you wait don't know. what <laughs> yeah. now, is that true okay yeah. <laughs> how am i supposed to do this okay figuring it out because nobody has time to mm. hold your hand nobody has time to to tell you okay so this is what we do so you just you figure things out on the spot but is it is it that you went through that mm. because that is what people should go through mm. or that was just the circumstance that was thrown you away do you think mm. everybody in project management mm. will go through that yes it's crazy even <laughs> even in that in, uh, international company and i understood why sometimes you would just see pro the project managers are just stressed really? and, and working late mm. and constantly on the phone i'm telling you you can receive like 50 calls in a day 50. for one and a half months for one on and a call. half months <laughs> we lost a mother <laughs> i lost a wife <laughs> i'm telling you and i crazy. lost a partner <laughs> A volcano has erupted. For one word. and a half months, we did, not do, we did not do Manapatao Chronicles because we could not even sneak away 
30 constant minutes. Yes. 30 simultaneous without being on minutes the phone. without being on the phone or needing to be on the laptop yes. or, or something. Mm. That was not possible. Yeah. So Ali Kua on call every single time. And then mm. what was heavy was the fact that she will need to be on call at 2 p.m. Yeah. She'll need to be on call at 6 a.m. She will need to be on call at 2 a.m. Yeah. So crazy. you don't know what time to sleep because you're supposed to be on yeah. call. Because your job is to manage other people. And it was interesting that she was still not the top manager, <laughs> like the project manager, manager. No. Uko, alikuwa tu hapa. Yeah. Ka level two, kako hapa hivichini. Mm. So, if today an opportunity came of being a project manager, mm -hmm. would you take it? No. Even if they gave you, I don't say all the money in the world, but even if they paid you as what you feel you deserve to be paid? I would have to make sure certain things are clear, mm. okay? Because another thing that... Uh, but you see, those things were apparently made clear even when you started this other job. And then things just started piling, piling. Tumo yeah. Kamoja, 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 kamoja. Yeah, so I don't know. I, 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 I don't say no. But I would, it would be, I don't know, I would need an assistant. Mm, yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I would need to be in a space where when I leave the office, even if it is at 10 p.m., mm. I have left the office. Mm. Like, that is it. Till tomorrow morning. Mm. Because in this situation, I was on call 24-7. One thing to be noted by the as much as she might be complaining, yes, and I'm also saying <laughs> that I also suffered a bit, you the fact that. remains that she did a bloody good job. She did an amazingly <laughs> good job. Like her, her work was top level, okay? Her work was amazing. The boss at the time acknowledged the difference between the kind of reporting that she was doing compared to the reports that were there before. The point that when she, she, had, a, she had a panic attack on the final day and that's when she left the job. Yeah, unfortunately, it did not get to the end. Uh, she had a panic, panic attack, it um, messed with her health. And you see now, when, when a job messes with your health, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it, hey, th there's no like, need of continuing. You're like, okay, I don't yeah. have to die. <laughs> and it was just one and a half months. Yeah, but anyway, that project was crazy. It was heavy. I must it was say, hectic. even my boss, they did, they did an amazing job. They yeah. tried. I mean, mm. it was it was like this, mm. like this. The pressure wasn't just on me. I can't mm. say that everybody yeah. was on edge and on pressure, and everybody did their absolute best yeah. given the circumstances. But Kudos me, to everyone. I still I still didn't appreciate the fact that our responsibilities kept on being piled on, but remuneration was, no, was not being adjusted. <laughs> Mtu amefanya kazi amefanya yake amefanya vizuri. Mumeona amefanya hiyo kazi yake vizuri. Mnaona acha turushe yaka kingine hapo tuone kama anaweza kafanya. Na anaifanya vizuri. Ah! Wacha tuziongeze. Jusu ni kama aitishi mshahara aongezewe. Inaongezwa inaongezwa. I mean... By the time unaitisha mshahara kuongezwa juu umeanzia kuchoka, it's too late. You are almost yeah, at the end. Yeah, those lessons learned as well. Yeah. Mm. Cuz now those are the lessons now you're saying that. You pull out of yes, that. Yeah. Yeah. So I got out of, of there with my lessons. An opportunity might come where somebody watching on our channel would be like, yeah, me, I want a, a project manager in a XYZ company and has a I don't blah, know. blah, blah, blah. Mm. Could it be that it was a new company and it didn't have the systems Probably. necessary to automate and run things because you did have to manually do a lot of things yeah probably and uh we were a small group yeah 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 personnel so probably tight, so yeah, yeah. Uh, i don't know <laughs> uh, all in all i'd like to do to manage something that is of my own because mm. you remember constantly i would say where i am nganaring all this for somebody else's, else's dream, yeah. somebody else's uh, vision, mm. somebody else's goal. goal. Yeah. I wish I could do this for something of my own. Mm. Because I know I am a hard worker. Like getting me on your team is an asset. You want me to work for you. Mm. So knowing that of myself, I'm mm. like, 
why don't I work for myself? Why don't I pour all this great work ethic and energy into something that is my my own? Mm. So I don't know if I would jump right into, okay, come, you become my project manager, mm. I pay you this. I'm not sure if I would jump into that. Mm. Mm. But you're a child of the system. <laughs> I'm a child of the system and I'm trying to break free from the system. Yeah. Let's see if it's possible. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, in answering the question, has it helped you career-wise? No. In the job sector? No, it hasn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Akipole. <laughs> ningumu. Life ningumu. But That's then life. You don't get what you expect. Mm. Part <laughs> of my of my self-care to myself is mm. to accept the hard truths and the hard realities of my life. Mm. That is a rea it's a difficult reality to accept. But what can I do to, for self-care and so that I'm not weighed down and depressed? I just accept and move on. Mm. That's life. Yeah. On to the next. The mm. next question. How do you handle finances? Who pays what? Splitting hey. of bills. Hey. Finally, this question has come. Eh? Well, clearly, <laughs> uh, of the two of us, you are the one who's working. You're the one and who's... you're working as well. It's your bank account that they know. Yeah, but still. you are the breadwinner. Like you took my hand and like come and join me in this. No, let's let, let's let's take things from the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when we met, <laughs> she was working, employed, X amount. I was working, employed. I can't go and misbehave. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, she was uh, uh, working as well, being paid X amount. I looked, the salary was almost the same when I Kinda. look back. Yeah, the salary mm. was almost the same. If you add on an yes, average. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. So what was uh, different was I would have extra gigs outside. Yeah. I'd have a voiceover here, I'd have an acting gig here, so to speak, yeah. Mm. And then I quit my job. I quit my job, this is this in 2016 after mm. we met. Mm. I quit my job to uh, take a role in Sunajuni. Um, which will be a story for another day. I have a feel it, a feel it story. Yeah. Hey, I have a feel it, a, a story of love, by the way. Love, mm. respect, and admiration. Maze. Yeah, but hey, uh, it, it, it has it has some thorns here and there. Mm. Some brought on by me. <laughs> some brought on by circumstances, and some brought on by assumptions and ignorance of you know just assuming some things based on your experiences. But anyway, so I quit my job. Went to join Suna Joni. Um, the monies were not really forthcoming at the time. Um, personally, Dileiwa, this is a story that uh, has also been shared by Abel, you know, with his Philip story. So, the fact that I had just left a job means I had X amount of um, expenses. That needed to be covered yeah mm. but now this money that was covering these expenses mm. is no longer there and i have just gotten myself a girlfriend <laughs> when i was working was but i then, pregnant then by then you were not you by i think we I, discovered in uh, 20 november 16 2016 november. november that's when we uh, discovered you're expectant uh, yes so this time we've just found out that she's expectant i've been working at Suna Joni for the month of, uh, we, we just started October, mid-October, mid-October to November, yeah, Hatu Jalipua. So I've been two months out of work. I'm pregnant. There is no money. I am, uh, she is pregnant. I am an expectant father. And, uh, where? Kuna siku. Alinipigia story. Kaniambia. She ever dated a guy. This guy borrowed her money. <laughs> this guy borrowed her at least uh, $500. If we can speak in terms of dollars, yeah? $500. Uh -huh. And this guy never returned the $500. Na alimuomba ile kumkopa. Yep. Sasa boy child hapa akajua we. Here is trauma point. 
hiyo ni trigger point hiyo ni point yenye haifai ku ever come up so here ni sote ukufa peke yako ni pambane sawa ni sawa unaweza itisha hiyo haina shida hiyo itakuwa rahisi kuirudisha lakini some big amounts 100 dollars and above any 10k kupanda ah ah usicheze hapo eh saizo tuna date tu tuna date tu bado hata tuje discover mambo ya pregnancy and what not then we discover that we are pregnant we like okay fine we'll still we're still going to do this together sawa sawa we'll do this together fine but still brother is broke he's working but he does not have money the money is there but it's not present ina time una juggle between loan ya bank to to loan ya 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 simu ya it was such a, a heavy time so this time nikasota tu yani wa kabisa and rent was due and a loan was due and i just had to ask for money you did I have just to ask to. for money you know what I happened you are liar liar pants <laughs> on fire maybe i went to visit this guy okay nika visit huyu mtu he looks so down down downcasted down casted down trodden then I, he goes to the bedroom crawls and into fetal in it was <laughs> fetal position eh uh, fetal position mm-hmm. i'm a call killer mtu kwa call book nasikia tu ana call one person after the other trying to borrow money like going one by one when who can i call next 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 he is stressed macho ni red and ametoa hadi even ya hapa kwa forehead nikamwambia mato why don't i give you the money what did i'm the one who offered to give this guy money to bail him out dia sirusho inje inje nyumba i offered to give him money he would rather die arusho inje nikuje nipate mtu mtu zake ziko inje than borrow me money I wasn't bowling but I had to savings. Of course and it was to give you 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 pay me back. Sia tinakupatia hivyo ati I'm sponsoring you. No apo sasa ndio umedanganya. You insisted that I don't need to pay you back. You don't need to pay me back. I'm the one who insisted that I have to pay you back. I mean you're somebody that um we are trying to build a life together, right? Me bailing you out is no biggie because that's bailing us out. And I think at that time we hadn't discovered yet that we are pregnant. Mm-hmm. We hadn't. I remember that period. That it's was like, that was one of the things that was the least in our minds because mm-hmm. after you discovered you're pregnant, that was the one thing that was always in our minds constantly, mm-hmm. you know. At that time, that was never that was never I, You were many. so stressed this guy I, and Martin, Martin to get stressed, it takes a lot. He's not easily stressed. <laughs> So you can imagine it. Mimi niko hapa, niko sitting room na watu na chungulia tu mtu bedroom na una oh my gosh this guy is so stressed he's calling one person after the other to am to meet a 5k. You go like, "Mato, I can literally bail you out of this situation." Mm. Like, "Come on, so, shika hii pesa." So, alinipatia pesa, nikaenda nikaweka kwa account, nikalipa loan, But nikaenda. Uh, Ladies don't do this. Uh, Don't do this just for anyone because <laughs> that's how you easily fall into into the trap yaku constantly bailing a guy out mm. them taking advantage of you and then them dropping you on the wayside and then moving on to the next uh, what i would do in that situation hereta muandikania ne iko like all i'm i'm giving you this money mm. to be paid back it depends on at what at what level you of are your relationship, in the relationship you are at exactly for me at, at that level i didn't mind bailing you out i mean you are my friend you are my person like outside of the person that i'm dating like you are the person i was seeing probably i'm just easily easily taken advantage of maybe i'm just a <laughs> galibo and it's easy to to draw on my two heart strings yeah. to feel for you and everything but for me it it was easy for so me so what what uh, this eventually i did pay back the money yeah i insist i I, I, i paid back the money insist. like ndio hii nimekutumia shika enda fanya nayo kile wewe unataka na ni pesa yako chukua anyway so what the reason why we're starting there is because this all led to a conversation that we've mentioned this a couple of times it started way back uh, no this led to now a full on conversation that lasted us i think um 
Four so hours. We slept at 3 a.m. Six. We say it was six hours between nine and three a.m. Mm. Between nine p.m. and three a.m. A conversation on money. Una tan una se ul a a panamato. A conversation on money. Yeah. And um, what came about the conclusion? Because I, I cannot, might not remember the exact details, but this was the conclusion that we tried to work with from there on. Yeah. Because this happened even in the next year, 2017. Now we've discovered we're expectant. Mm. Now we know we are going to be living together. Actually, mm. we were living together. Yes. We were already engaged at that point, but we hadn't fully had the conversation on, on money. Mm. And when we had the conversation, it was, this is what we agreed. Another disclaimer, this might not work for you. It might work for you. You might need to tweak and adjust yeah. a couple of places here and there, but this is what worked for us. Since um, we are pregnant, we are doing life together, okay? We are engaged, we, we are looking towards getting married, moving in together and all the good stuff. Definitely we are going to have combined and common projects that are geared towards us as a family. Mm. So definitely we would have a pot pool mm. of funds mm. that we would put in together mm. and budget. Mm. No, these funds are going to be geared to what, when, where, mm. and at what time. And at this point, I had now started uh, working at uh, Suna Joni. The mm. salaries started being consistent. Yeah. Also working as a director at Antiboss. So it so, was easier to budget. Yeah. So it didn't matter how much I was making or mm. how much Clearly, you were making, making way more. <laughs> at the time, could you imagine that way there was a more time that, that I was making. you were making more than me? <laughs> you are still making way more than I'm making. Yeah. But yeah, that was the I, that was the arrangement. Mm. And also, while um, taking care of our personal obligations financially, which are if somebody is in debt, you're paying your debt. Mm. Before you you get the monies to the common pot pool, yeah. pool of, of Nini, mm. you take care of your debt. Mm. Take care of your personal savings. Take mm. care of your personal investments if you're in a circle or whatever. Mm. Like, take care of that and then now have a pot that we are pulling in together. Now we are going to budget this money together to gear towards common projects. Yeah. <laughs> that is what has worked for us. Yeah. Because even at the point where she did not uh, now... She was not making anything at some point when she stopped working and she's not making anything. Nothing changed really because mm. we didn't have the so where when you wanna handle rent, no. now where when you wanna handle shopping, you mm -hmm. know, kind of uh, engagement. Mm. No, it was it is the money that handles. Either way, it is the money that handles. It is never the person that handles, yeah. it is the money that handles. Mm. So we just put, I just put the money there and then in a kuwasawa. What just an itoe from ya pesa ya familia? Nichuda chuko pesa yangu na weka kwa pesa ya familia. Asema sasa wache yende. Ika shugulikie this bill, that bill, here and there. Kama ni gari naitaji kutengenezwa, naitengenezwa. I think something else that really has worked for us so far is that I completely trust this guy with our finances. Like I, I there is no doubt in my mind. I feel safe. Safe is a better word. I feel safe when we are handling money together mm -hmm. there is no oops uh, let me be to to who safety net uh, no mm -hmm. i i feel completely safe and i think it's important because he is also the provider he i mean let's let's call a thing a thing let's call a spade a spade mm -hmm. martin gidenchi is a provider of our home and not just our home, even our moms. Like this guy is a provider, he's a protector, he's a coverer. And I'm so thankful to have him as my husband because I, the story can be different, y'all. People out here are, are suffering, man. Mm? Mm. So thank With you. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> thank you. No, seriously, thank you. Thank you for making sure that we are good. Thank you for providing for us and for our moms. Like it's it's amazing that we can rely on you in that manner. Thank you. We I, I we really appreciate you, Baba Baba Marcus. I, yeah? I guess <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, but uh, for me, as in, I don't know. I think for me, it's more. I can, so I will. Yeah, and when you cannot, definitely I will yeah. because that is marriage. Yeah. Honestly, that is marriage because mm -hmm. when when you get into the thick of things and I can bail you out, yeah. why not? Yeah. As in, it makes no sense to me. 
and that was actually a very huge that, that was a very huge sign of commitment when you were able to having come from telling me the way you would never but they had vowed they had said me tena nijipate nijipate tena nipate mwanaume one shilling of my money <laughs> i'm telling ever. you that the things you say when you when you are in, <laughs> in trauma nilikuwa nime vow had said i am not giving mm. one shilling to any man that the next man i am dating mm. and here we are <laughs> I would definitely bail you out Mato but it's heavily again I go back on trust how much do I trust you how much do you make me feel safe how much have you demonstrated because it's not mm. just word of mouth how mm. much have you demonstrated that you are responsible with money mm. how much have you demonstrated that you can be trusted with funds to cater and cover for our home mm. again Somebody must show you Ninio mtu asiati yako hapo they don't pay for a single bill and you want them to be your your protector your cover and your provider how mm. now mm. somebody must have demonstrated that they can be trusted they can be relied on they can be just i don't know how to i don't know how else to can you be trusted with money <laughs> so there's no splitting Not really. of bills and there's no splitting there's of no bills splitting at of all bills. yeah because the money will come be in the same pool right now for for a while i had been the one who was uh, bringing the only one who was being in money mm. being that it was my face and my image that was going for the meetings to get the jobs okay but i have been doing the jobs with her you know and since i'm doing the jobs with her ideally i am working with her for her to also earn a salary you know yes. so she mm. also has her salary my in that money. you know yeah. but then we are still putting all the money in the same place when she needs something that is completely personal we get the money from there you know <laughs> when i need something that is personal it's still a conversation we get the money from there okay yes there are some things that i will decide and say you know what this ones i will get and then i will tell her i have got it for example the <laughs> lights those ones those ones were necessary like, what? because we are enjoying the use of them right you now you went and did what <laughs> imagine say kama tunge kwa these lights we want to shoot aje especially because the way this room does not have like and like the house that we were in mm. it had the side lights mm. yeah it's a conversation in short what we're trying to say in so yeah. many words mm. there's no one Okay there is that one major conversation but yeah. moving forward yes. everything according. becomes a conversation yes. just according everything yeah. hey hela when are you come we need to discuss how how we going to do this how we going to do that mm. it's never at a one, one one sometimes some things shift and change there's a time that i was the one who was covering rent mm. while you were covering every like it's it's a conversation mm. can you to, can the two of you come together have a conversation on how you're going to handle fi- finances and be on the same page yeah. that is what it boils down to yeah. there's no one right way to do this mm. or or one wrong way to do this work with what works for another couple for this is unheard of, of. <laughs> what yeah. you are pulling you are pulling monies together no my are money is my money and your money is our it's money, our money. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> if you guys are on the same page on that that's fine that's the dynamic of the relationship it works uh, it's interesting that that always happens when the lady is making money like making good money constantly money the lady says my money is my money but your money is our money I mean let, let's call a thing a thing. Mm. If we are in a if you guys are in a marriage setup and yeah. you are the man in the relationship and yes. you are having a dynamics of mm. of, the, of 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 a marriage that is what we has been seen before. Yes. You are the one who is expected to provide for the societal family. expectation. Yeah, mm. so in such a situation you have to step up to the plate But in some a truth, capacity. But the truth is, a truth is mm. it would be unfair mm. if the lady is making money mm. the man is struggling mm. to make money mm. and then the mentality is still the same mm-hmm. that your money is our money and my money <laughs> is my money, is my money. That, is, that, that is quite honestly unfair for the unit for the union it is unfair for the union if the man is struggling to make money the lady is making money but the mentality is still the same no i i feel in such a situation because we've had this conversation even with my girlfriend mm. 
in a situation where you find yourself you're dating somebody and you're making way more money than them mm. what do you do when sasa nyinyi wote you are coming together to form a family and a unit so most of us were of the opinion of we're going to live according to the standards of this guy until he levels up here's a circumstance mm. there's this mama who works at a big corporation makes nice money mm. and then there's this guy who's uh, amsani somewhere who's just starting out and he's making this mm. amount of money mm. so he's living according to his standards mm. now this lady her standards is uh, going for road trips in vasha or mombasa you know going out at least once in a while to a restaurant to have a meal so to speak mm. this guy he knows kibanda and he knows the uh, holidays are for being planned once in a year mm. during christmas and it is going ushago not that you're going to mombasa these two people go together or rather end up together So are you saying that this girl mm. will forget all these Naivasha trips and Mombasa trips because this <laughs> man mm. can't be able to afford them and she will not pay for them because it will be you have spending her money instead of the man spending their money No it all now that's when it boils down to the person <laughs> You as a woman mm. you're making this much money and you're going with a guy who goes to eat at Kibanda. Mm. Are you going to put such expectations on him that he cannot deliver? If you if you cannot put such if he cannot see deliver I if ah. you, see, uh-huh. is, if you cannot if he cannot come up uh, if you can can play, if you place sorry if you place expectations on him that he cannot deliver mm. already there's going to be a problem you are there, also you are also relationship. you're also setting yourself so up for yeah. disappointment so now it is upon you yeah. to decide am i going to continue with um say wakibanda mm. na nikubali kuenda na kuenda na hiyo riengi yake ya kibanda <laughs> right and when i want us to to go to my high high end classy life that i am willing to pay for exactly. it and sponsor it you have to make a decision yeah. you have to, it boils down to the person and then now, of course there is societal uh, pressure expectations, expectations yeah. the fabric of the society that has woven that the mm. man is a provider the yeah. man is the one to because there, there are also circumstances where the men now who would see that this lady is the one who's making more money na yeye ndio anataka kwenda probably for a dinner at Kelpinski kuna wale wanaomewa kusema ah you know what i can't be able to do that love me for who i am Mm. to work na vid- na vile na kuna ule wa ataji, atapata pressure mm. atapata depression mm. kwa sababu ameshindwa anashindwa kuendeaje na kuna ule mwenye itabidi hata amekopa alafu aribu relationship hata zaidi kwa sababu now you are getting into a relationship with debt na kuna mwenye atakuwa very okay kulipiwa vitu <laughs> <laughs> this is true i, I find <laughs> My personal opinion no offense to you <laughs> if you are that kind of a please level up level Uyo wako okay Mimi nina I mean I respect moyo anasema mimi naenda kwa kibanda kama utakubali kuja kwa kibanda na mimi shauria shauri yako but now like really as a man would you be okay unalipiwa kila kitu as a man everything unalipiwa na mdem Would you be okay in such a situation? I often struggle with that. Probably it's the size the societal fabric mm. that has been woven in my brain that mm. is at play here. Mm. And probably I am I am biased mm. and have I, probably is a lot. It's it's the responsibility of the man being the head, the provider, the protector and the coverer. That expectation and that responsibility that has has a tributaries and channels huku mm. chini i can't Whereby, imagine a man who is okay being paid for everything <laughs> unalipiwa nyumba unalipiwa nguo unalipiwa chakula unali unapelekwa like i would you as a man a book comment down below mm. as a man would would in that make you feel emasculated <laughs> i mean that's... kuna kuna wale wanajibamba wako tu sawa Yeah that you would just be okay ah, lipa lipa tu mm. lipa tu kuna mm. wengine hadi wanaitisha hiyo card ya mdem mm. like it's real out here in marriages yeah. like the man actually asks for your card and mm. for your bank information mm. and goes and makes withdrawals as if it's his own money yeah and that is personally kama mwanaume wacha mimi niseme but personally kama mwanaume wacha mimi niseme eh sio poa mwanaume wacha but ina depend mko wapi kwa relationship yenu tena mko wapi kwa relationship yenu 
mm. mko wapi cuz mama mm. kikaumana for me <laughs> eh. kikaumana for me mm. like between the two of us so far where we are in our relationship mm. we are together we are not at dating mm. trying to mm. to know whether we are going to end up together we are together mm. mimi kikaumana wewe uonekaniwe wewe sasa ndio una make mm. mado mm. na mimi nina try to figure out vitu mm. si you got me I got you but I know the kind of man you are. Mm. You would not be okay with sitting back. Of and course. Kneel. Of course. You're going no to... man should be should now, that's, that's the, the thing. thing. That's, that's the, the point. Thing. That is the point. Because unalipiwa nyumba, yes. unalipiwa nguo, unalipiwa no chakula. Una, 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 no me cut. Obviously utaka. Kuna no. an amazing no, position no, no, to be at. No, no, no. Because like oh hapo hapana bring hapo me a hapana. glass of juice hapo hapana bring me a, a glass of nini cuz you yo. the woman is taking care of everything Mm-mm. you as a man automatically it takes you to a point of comfort uh-uh. and that is where i have the problem with that that comfort should not be there yeah so But, even even myself mm. i know i would be doing you a huge disservice mm. if i ever let you stay in a comfort zone juki le umana cuz where for example if you're making mm. your money mm. and then maybe there's something i'm working on mm. it's just not yet yes. bringing the money yeah that is fine that's fine i mm. would invest in it actually i would yes. say yeah check check your certain millions of shillings i'm investing this in you and in you and you Ivane haraka mm. that's different yeah. than somebody matoni kulipia nyumba mm. ni kulipia nguo uh. ni kulipia chakula mm. nifanye kila kitu nini itafanya ungangane na hii maisha si uta relax tu you are, you are going to relax takuwa, takuwa mama yangu sindio <laughs> that is where i have the problem with come on and come on in, in, in like in all honesty it's a situation like that that Pia the woman eventually and the shock was even too kidogo and realized ay sasa huyu exactly you will be nini, emasculated nini, nini. naturally the woman will start yeah. emasculating you yeah. i mean come on okay hi we need to get to the last question for this one because <laughs> now this is this is uh, becoming even longer than the first one yes. last question this one should be short best gifts to give to your spouse uh, you guys are a couple i admire thank, thank you very you. much so best gifts to give to your spouse I really don't know. It depends on the spouse. Yeah, it, it depends uh, actually on their love language. Yes, this is true. Yes. We, But gifts are good. Yeah. Even though I'm I'm not nini even though acts of service is for you, I know a gift would be nice too. Um But it largely depends on the love language that speaks to them most. Yeah, because um okay, gifts There are two ways of gifting. Mm. Either you gift with something that speaks to you the gifter. Mm-hmm. That I went somewhere, I saw this, and it reminded this reminded me of you, me of you mm. here. You can have it. Mm. Yeah? Uh the second way is uh you know your person, you know what they want, what they have wanted for a while. You plan for it, if you're able to, you go buy it and give it to them. Okay? or actually there's a part 3 where you assess assess them from not what they are saying they want but what you see they need yeah for example i for a long time uh, needed shoes but i did not want shoes this guy, this guy. okay i needed shoes but i did not want mm. shoes because for me it was just not a priority but every time i'm going to wear shoes is when i realize wait oh, I, i only have, have three shoes. pairs mm. of shoes and i'm warm. wearing them quite often and they are wearing mm. out you know something like that so you you go like you know what you need shoes, shoes. yeah we are getting you shoes i am mm. getting you shoes you know that kind of situation yeah so because gifting gifting is a love language you're speaking into the emotion part of yes. that person so if if for this person uh gifting is not their love language for example because mm. for me it's a gift i'd rather have a gift from a point of uh, practicality personally for mm-hmm. me practicality mm. what is this gift what is it for um i will take sentimental ones yes you go somewhere you see something you say it reminds you of me i will enjoy it because i think i only have uh, um from somebody i was not in a relationship with mm. who gifted me something not like just as a friend uh-huh. that i remember to date because not because it meant anything to me 
if anything it that did meant nothing to me <laughs> whatever that thing was in mm. itself but because it was from them and they said this is because i want you to just have this mm-hmm. as a friend mm. i always remember it i always value yeah, it yeah. i always cherish it you um uh you have uh, gotten me like in our first year of dating you got me some uh, gifts you know that i always remember they were not gifts that spoke to me as far as the things that i wanted yeah but i appreciated them because they came from you i used them when i needed to because they were things things are to be used people are to be loved i used them when i needed to zingine zikaisha zingine bado ziko mpaka saa hii na unajiulizaga what was going through your head when you were buying them the fact remains they were gifts from you and i valued and i appreciate them so you you choose how you want to give to your person it's definitely it's, it's up to you yeah it's quite varied between the two of you where cheza yeah. kiwewe cheza kiwewe i mean like then there's also the luxurious type of gifting mm. like here is a what is the most luxurious car bugatti is all here is here is this here is that mm. it it speaks differently to different people and at different times yeah For instance, if mm. you were to buy me a vehicle like mm. we are seeing so much on social media, mm. which is good by the way, kudos you guys. Yeah. Always love Unataka ni unataka nikununulie? Always love Gari. Cha- no. Hey. <laughs> no pressure much. No pressure. Au dige hota. No pressure, but I'm just I'm just acknowledging <laughs> that's what speaks spoke to their spouse at yes, that time yes. and even we saw how happy their spa- the spouses, spouses were, were. Yeah. and excited it was like oh this is amazing this is beautiful yeah now for me if you were to buy me a car right now i'd be like okay thank you mm. okay it's what, not serving you yeah, as per your needs right now what would be more meaning is shika down payment ya e biashara unataka kuanzisha yeah shika hii that's what that, that is, is what speaks to me to you, yeah. at this time at this But time it's knows? not that you you'd never want a yeah. car you will of who course who knows yeah. in future that you would buy me a kind of be like oh my god mata this is exactly what i needed thank you babe mm. so it again it boils down to nyinyi mm. wawili yeah. mnajua naje na mnaelewanaje i remember when i got her her first uh, push gift yeah I got her a push gift it was a phone <laughs> and her phone I actually got her a phone because her phone was crashing yeah. it was just the day I think I got shared it on my apart. story so I was like I am one of those people I'm not replacing my phone as long as nothing is wrong with it <laughs> ie even if screen however cracked the, the screen is but the cracked broken <laughs> like <laughs> the pieces are out you can take the pieces <laughs> and make another phone somewhere else because the pieces are no longer there me the, such things don't bother me can i call you can i hear what you're saying yes can yeah. we understand each other can i read that text through the cracks yeah. so for somebody like her at that time um it she enjoyed it she valued yeah, it, it because was, it was from me mm. one and then it was something that she did not want but, but she needed, was needed yeah. yeah she not want but she needed mm-hmm. um Uh, were able to go to um, CDI gadgets mm. got a one now that she wanted yeah a gift that she actually that was wanted amazing thank you hadi tuonyeshe watu kwa sababu tunatumia sisi wote so this amazing gift over here this is, what is we're amazing using. thank you hadi it's a beautiful it's a beautiful uh, ring light from CDI gadgets <laughs> that we are using as our <laughs> background back light <laughs> as our backlight <laughs> yes only to realize that it was uh, ah, don't eh. fall honey ah, yeah. mm. sawa mm. ah, to realize that it was both convenient imerudi yeah iko sawa mm. it was convenient for both her and, and me our work. and our yes. work you know mm. so at times i will use it at times she will use it because mm. it was uh practical and the dressing it was table a practical gift. like yeah. those are amazing gifts you see they they seem materialistic but they serve a purpose for me yes. and are so sentimental and amazing mm. so it depends aki yeah. ina depend to actually the dressing table was your birthday gift yeah, yeah. yeah. yes and that was that came from a point of uh, want and need mm. because she kept on saying she wants a dressing table yeah. she needs a dressing table to be able to do some things mm. and 
no regrets so far. I'm also able to use it. Mm. I'm also able to enjoy yeah. it, you know, things like that. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah. Um, again, it depends. Cheza kinyini. Yes. Cheza ni how the two of you want to play it. Yeah. All right, I think that is it to Melissa for today. Ooh, yes. Three questions only. Oh my goodness, three questions only. I think the next Nini we need to start going haraka haraka. I mean, if they do not have any thing to layer. Yeah, we we'll yeah, just sure. No problem. No problem. Them. No problem. Mm. But so far, I think this month we shall dedicate it to these questions. This month of uh, November, and then mm. probably finish them within this month of November. Yeah. And then the month of December, we start bringing out other content. But for sure, we are consistently now putting out our content. content. For sure. Coming you your are way. To, you are to Lali, <laughs> at Lali Maskio. Mm. We are never going to have this conversation again. We are, we are like, hey yeah. guys, so we are back. Hacking <laughs> yeah. yeah. the stones, the stones uh, that have uh, been thrown. So, so, all right. Thank you very much. Please make sure to subscribe and share. Yes, if you enjoy like, our content, please comment. switch on the notification icon so that you can get to know mm. when we are going to post. Yeah. Uh, we might have some giveaways that we will be giving. You would not want to miss that. Also remember, giveaways are happening on the TechWiz channel. Link in the description as well. Make sure to subscribe there as well. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>